hey everyone uh, today i'll be reviewing the aclaim pd4 plus uh, i'm really excited for this budget dongle and you'll come to know why uh, as for the price it is 54 dollars and it could be ha ha had for as low as 45 dollars or even 40 dollars during a sale and for that msrp price point and even for the sale price point it's a really good term uh, so this is a review unit from aclaim uh, but all the thoughts and opinions are about to hear are my own uh, so let's start the review uh, well, the packaging is very simple. Uh, it is minimal and it is effective. Uh, it has a dongle. Uh, it has a USB C to C cable, uh, which is really supple and really high quality for this budget price. And it comes with a USB C to USB A converter. Uh, I love this simple packaging as it covers all the devices you can have. Uh, if you want the Lightning version, uh, when you buy it, please do message them on AliExpress so they can ship you with a Lightning cable rather than the USB C cable. And the DAC works really well with iPhone 15 series. I have tested them with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and also the iPhone 15 base model. Yeah, uh, it has a volume up and down. Uh, it has a volume uh, up and down uh, and uh, high and low gain over here. This is a low gain and uh, this is high gain. And uh, what I do love is, uh, as you can see in the middle, there is a play pause button over here. Yeah. Now, this is very unique because uh, I have not seen any dongle at any price range having that. So that play pause button is really good. So you can have the dongle near you. And while the uh, song is playing, you can just press this and play and pause. It works really well. It's very instantaneous. So I think so this, that's a very good addition. As for the power, it can go up to 138 milliwatts on 3.5 millimeter at 32 ohms. And on 4.4 millimeter, it can go up to 310 milliwatts at 32 ohms. Uh, for my collection, it drove everything without any issues, even from the 3.5 millimeter. Uh, for the Transgym Kara, I had to use the, sometimes I had to use the uh, high gain at 3.5 to make it sound a bit better. Uh, talking about the volume button, uh, it has 64 independent volume steps. Uh, but there is one small issue I found, or again, this could be a feature for some, uh, is that the volume, uh, it doesn't when it doesn't go to zero uh, or mute. So when even I'm at the lowest volume setting over here, like uh, even if I, I'm at the lowest volume setting, uh, at volume level one, uh, it's it's stuck over there and it doesn't go to mute. Uh, so uh, even at the lowest volume setting, it's uh, there is some uh, sound still uh, playing. So although this is not that much of a big of a deal, uh, but I still thought of mentioning it. So this uses a dual CS4331 DAC and the USB audio bridge chip SA9312. Uh, it also has a dual Crystec crystal oscillator, which is uh, unique to Acclaim. Uh, it supports up to PCM 348 kHz and DSD 256. Uh, to talk about the sound, this sound very natural yet very detailed. Uh, now, as usual, it is hard to uh, talk about the sound of the DAC by its by on its own, but rather I would need to AB it with other DACs which I have access to, and also what kind of IM you pair it with also depends too. Uh, so. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about the sound in uh, detail. Uh, so the timbre and tonality is quite good. And IMs like Tanz Jemkara, the Fan 2, Nova sounds very good over here. The entire range of the sound which the Aclam PD4 Plus produces is very neutral. Uh, but when listening to high frequencies, uh, there is a great amount of crispness, but it isn't PSE at all. Uh, the sound stage uh, is wide. It opens up with more power hungry IMs like the Kara. So when I was playing the Kara uh, with 3.5 millimeter and at high gain, it sounded very nice and open and spacious in the same song uh, when compared to in uh, other dongles. Uh, with IMs like the EA1000 and the Aoshida E20, it does a great job uh, with them and it cuts down on the harshness from them a bit while, it, while also being detailed. For the battery test, I got around 15.5 hours with my smartphone, uh, which has a 5000 mAh battery. Uh, while using the Moondrop Chew 2 at around 30% volume. Uh, when using it, it does get a tad bit hot, uh, although they were nev uh, never unbearable. Uh, the glass window on this, uh, they, it looks great. It's an eye catcher for sure, right? It does look great, but I'm a bit scared that I might break it uh, if I'm rough with it. Uh, also, please remove the plastic. If you do buy it, please remove the plastic uh, sticker which this has uh, because that is very scratch friendly. So, if you remove it, the glass is not that scratch prone, but the plastic is and it does look bad. Uh, the PD4 Plus is fantastic uh, budget product for its MSRP of $54 or even better buy at $45 when it's on sale. Uh, if you're looking for a dongle 
but want uh, if you're looking for a dongle let's say usb c to 3.5 mm and want something with a 4.4 mm jack for your headphones and uh, and you want more power and you do not want to break the bank uh, then this is and and you also want a dongle for play pause button then this is the dongle to get because at its budget price point of $54 or budget uh, or at its sale price of $45 I do not think so there is any other dongle which sounds ad, as good as this uh, if I had a favorite audio product list uh, then this would be surely on that list as you know on the top of that list because it's an easy recommendation for a budget dongle if you ask me what's a good budget dongle to buy the Aklam PD4 Plus is top of the list for me so yeah that was my review of the Aklam PD4 Plus I hope you liked it uh, I really like this dongle and uh, yeah uh, so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section down below and 94% uh, of the people watching this video aren't subscribed so I would really appreciate if you could like my video and subscribe to my channel that would really help me out a lot and you can also uh, get notifications from my latest reviews so yeah thanks for stopping by uh, have a great day ahead bye